and I are making breakfast together this morning. What are you making, baby? Uh, some hash browns, egg pans, scrambler type Mommy, things. Yeah, so he's cooking for the adults, and I'm cooking for the kids. I am making French toast for the kids this morning. Ellie, Ellie, say goof butt. I didn't have to rush to town. I Cheese, goof. All right, guys, so we are headed into town. We're, what, plating our car today? I get the tax title license today. <laughs> yeah, you love goggles. that. Yeah, oh, I need new contacts so bad. I'm so excited, you guys. I have not been able to see. It's like somebody wiped grease over my eyes. I've been wearing them like this for, what, almost a month? Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna pick up some eyeballs for me. Yeah. Goggles. Goggles, yeah, they're pretty much goggles. I am literally blind without them, you guys. Hey, T, she's with us. Getting new shoes, too. She's getting new shoes today? Sometimes, yes. Yes. New shoes today. Yeah, I, I didn't even know about this. Stuff. Yeah, Dad's got to get fishing stuff. And pay the camera. Yeah, and we got to get groceries. It's got to happen. And my niece and niece, nep great nephews and great niece are going to spend the night again tonight because they only have one air conditioner window air in their place. And the heat index is supposed to be what, over 100 degrees today? Yeah. 110 to 115. 110 to 115? Holy cow. Anyway, 95 yeah. out and it's not even noon. Man. Yeah, it's really hot in Iowa today, you guys. It's bad. And so her little ones and her are going to stay with us again tonight. So that's what we're doing today. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to be able to see. I won't be squinting anymore. And maybe I can get some writing done at night because by the time nighttime hits, my eyes are so. They're so to where I can't see, that I haven't even been able to do much writing because I can't see the computer screen. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to see you again. But anyway, we're off to it. So, oh, it's bumpy. All right, guys, so I can finally see again, and it's a little disorienting because I have been wearing contacts that are no good for probably a month, month and a half. And so I put in these ones that are really good right now, and it's it's kind of like after you get your eyes dilated where it just takes a little bit for your eyes to go back to normal. Hi, T, look at her, she's like, my I'm popping up on C. <laughs> so she was checking out my contacts. She's like, I wanna see this, because they get, when they get, uh, bad like mine where they get like these calcium deposits and so it's like these white hard specks over where you can see out of and she's checking them out and she's like oh they almost look like greasy and I'm like yeah that's what it's like they're cloudy too so that's what it was like looking out of them is it's always cloudy I couldn't see anything so now that everything's bright and I can see again it was just kind of like whoa I can't handle it but yeah it's nice I can see again Hey guys, so it is too hot for the hair down and had to go up in a ponytail. Messy at that. But we are headed in to find some temporary shoes for T. We're going to get her some Converse later. Yes, but today, due to budget issues, <laughs> we are headed in to just get her a pair of tennies to replace the one she has. Because what's going on with your shoes? Uh, well, you can, if, you can see it now. Yeah, let's show. Look at that. She got a big hole in the bottom I, of her I shoe, but these lasted forever. They she wore them almost every day for like seven boots, months. And we got them, and like a week later, I couldn't wear them because my feet hurt. Yeah. It, it was bad. She went through a growth spurt in like a week. Her it, shoes didn't fit. It, it, it was a week or a month. So as usual, when we were at the store, Matt has to look at all the fishing stuff. And they have a display up front, so he really had to check it out. But my favorite thing that I have seen in this store today is, and I'm going to show you guys. You guys ever remember the saying, get hit with an ugly stick? Yeah. There's a fishing pole called the ugly stick. That's too funny. So what made you decide to do it? Because it's hot out. It is. It's like 100 degrees in Iowa. And uh, what we're talking about is... There was a lady and a gentleman sitting in the heat in their van um, with a sign that said, anything will help. Um, they're out of stranded. gas. Stranded. Trying to get to family in Colorado, and I drove by them and read a sign and thought, 
what if it was me? So I had a few dollars, a few ones, spare ones in my pocket that would have probably went to buy pop or something that I really didn't need. So not that I have a lot of money, but I swung back around and gave him the five bucks and hopefully it'll help him in his trip to get to his family in Colorado. You know, and I know people say, don't give money, don't give money, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, there's a lot of things that we give money to in this life, but there's a lot of times that we pass by people every day that are out there. And yes, I know that there are people out there just scamming and people that make a lot of money doing it, but... This gentleman wasn't. They weren't. <laughs> and I mean, you knew they weren't. You knew just looking at the vehicle they weren't. I mean, there's rust all over the ceiling. It's, you know what I mean? It's just, they're all over the roof of the car. Yeah, I know people say don't give money. They could go spend it on alcohol. They could spend it on drugs. That's not for me to judge. That's not for Matt to judge. But somebody's out there in this heat asking for help. First of all, I don't think most people are going to want to sit outside in this heat today in a vehicle unless they really have to. And so, she, was, she was in the van eating a can of Campbell's soup or ravioli out of the can. So, so you know... There's so many times we can pass by people and not help them, but we choose not to. We choose not to pass by. If we can give you food, if we can give you something, we're gonna. I mean, if you're out there asking for help, must be a reason you're asking for help, you know? But if you're out there scamming people, well, I truly believe in karma. That stuff comes back and eventually it'll bite you in the butt if you are. But most people that are out there with signs and out there saying, hey, help me out, especially in like 115 degree heat indexes, are not out there because they want to be. They're out there because they need the help. And so today, you know what? We just decided to stop and do it. I don't care if people say don't give money. Money is makes the world go around nowadays. You can't buy gas with a can of soup. You can't. You can't put gas in your vehicle. You need money to do it. So, And I didn't have any food in the car to give them this time. Normally I do, and I would have handed them that too. We would have. I mean, that's just... That's what we believe in doing. We're gonna give you something to eat and hopefully you spend the money on exactly what you say you're gonna, but that's not for us to judge, right? Yep, I've only ever give money to somebody like that one other time in my life and that was at uh, Grandma Walter's funeral. Me and my brother were driving and there was a, a guy outside of the Hardee's with a hungry sign and I, me and my brother each gave him $10 and he walked right into Hardee's. Yep. So, so, anyway, that's our view on it. That's that's how we treat it. That's how we feel about it. And that's what we do. I don't know. What do you guys think on it? That'll be for our poll for the day. Would you give someone money if they were asking and saying they were stranded for gas? No judgments, just wondering. Just kind of a poll. Is that something that you would do? Or leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Alright guys, so I have got to get some household supplies. One of which is shampoo for tea. And I need some, hmm, what do I need? Band-Aids. Who I run into at the Dollar Tree when I'm trying to get some stuff. Grandma. Grandma Pat. I went to the doctor today. Did you, what'd you do at the doctor today? What kind of doctor? I had a yearly checkup. He said I should walk more. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, give me a prescription for new shoes. <laughs> Bye. We came out of the store, you guys. And I go over to our parking spot and Matt moved on me. I think he did it on purpose. I'm not sure. He's probably just trying to meet his mom, but it's still really weird when you walk out and like the car's not there. So, uh, where'd you go? <laughs> I moved. I know, I came out, I'm like, where are they at? That's because Grandma drove past us. Ah. Oh, here comes the windows down. <laughs> oh, she's going to hit us. <laughs> she's going to race. No. We're going to race for titles. I'll take hers. Oh, wait, it doesn't fit enough people. Never mind. All right, guys, it's dark. I know it's hard to see, but as you can see, I've got two of my nephews down here. T, Aspen's up and out of his bed. And Miss Ireland is up yet because it is so hot in this house, even with the air conditioning, that we're sleeping in two rooms tonight. 